Hello and welcome. What we're going to be looking at today is we're going to be looking at writing some better creative stories. And even if you think you're not such a good creative writer and you're struggling a bit and you, you're down on confidence and you don't know where to get ideas, what we're going to be looking at is just some simple tips and some simple strategies that even if you are a good writer or if you're one who is still learning your craft, you can work on some ways to just improve, make it sound more natural, or basically to add edge to your story writing and how to write some better stories. So as I said before, even if you don't think you're really a creative person, there are plenty of ways to improve your creative writing and there are some very simple ones. And what we're gonna go through mainly are the simple ones, which you can then expand upon in your own time through practice, through uh, going through it in your own time, to just enjoying writing stories, particularly use it as something of a therapeutic experience or however you choose to do it. The most important thing to do is basically to experiment, is to uh, find your own way of writing. Now, creative writing is different from other forms in that there's no set structure or way that you have to do it. So the best part of, of experiencing uh, creative writing is by experimenting, by trying things, by just writing random things, like you like you do when you're writing to your friends or, or if you're one of those people who write a blog, you'll write to them in your own way, in your own style. And one of the, the things about writing better stories is to tap into your own style and your own personality and bring that out through your language and through your description. So we'll go through some of those things. And the best thing to do, which all creative writers strive for, is to find their own voice, to find a method of writing which is yours. So to some things to look for and some ways to bring that out in your own writing. The most um, common error, I guess, is by a lot of young writers is basically to copy someone else. So to find an author and copy their style. But the thing is, a lot of authors have found their voice their own, their own way and through hard work and through, through trying. So what you need to do then is you need to write in such a way where you find your own way of doing things because not only does that mean that your stories will sound more unique and will certainly sound a lot more interesting but they will reflect you and you'll find them much easier to write okay so let's start off with adding some substance to your stories okay now what i mean by adding substance is adding a bit of depth so if you have a look at this picture to my uh to my right here what you'll find is you'll find that this image goes a long way back and that's basically what you'd be looking for in your writing is to have a bit of depth to it to make it a little bit beyond what you just see in the foreground and really go deeper into the background. So how do you do this? Well first of all you can cover it in an interesting way. So you can take an ordinary story once been done before so the the classic boy and girl romance story and turn it into something more interesting. We'll go for an example of this in a moment. You can uh, have an interesting cast of characters with different layers. So try and, and avoid making very simple, plain, two-tone characters who are a boy and uh, have a name, or a girl and have a name. Try and add a bit more to them than that. So that they're not generic characters, they're not people who uh, could be replaced with anyone. They are unique people who have their own identity and their own story to tell. Now this may involve uh, doing a character profile, but you can do it just simply through um, picking your friends, picking characteristics of different people, and basically attaching them to a character, and talk about things that, uh, even subtle things that they do, that, which bring out their personality a little bit more. Next thing is to use sensory and emotional language. So to really add more depth to them and, and, and really um, enhance the range of senses that someone uses when they interpret your story. So to not rely on the visuals too much and not to uh, overstimulate with, with just basic description, but to really invoke and really engage the reader by making them feel a connection to it. And finally, you can try making it a bit more symbolic. And what I mean by that is by making it uh, representative of something else. 